Virgo, hi. <clears throat> so, this is going to be a reading for August 10th through the 16th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see. Alright, so the overall energy for the reading, the Hierophant. Um, yeah, yeah, it could be a marriage. For some of you, I'm not really seeing that uh, as the significant kind of, yeah, long-term commitment, marriage, whatever. Uh, I kind of see this, portraying to this as... Um, uh, highly spiritual learning on your part, you know? Um, but we'll see. In the recent past, you get the Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Swords. Conflict. Lots of conflict here. Possibly around you, possibly involving you directly, but I kind of see you making a move out of this conflict. Like, screw this, I'm out. You know? Because I see you sitting in there for quite some time until you decided to just let it be you know um in your current situation you get the three of wands the page of wands and the death card no more waiting no more waiting for someone or something done with the waiting uh in your immediate future you get the three of cups the king of swords and the empress somebody's coming towards you very very determined to get you back So let's uh, let's clarify. Let me clarify the hierophant. Definitely. The Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Uh, that is very deep knowledge that you're gaining. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of work towards yourself here. Towards you, towards your material world, towards your independence, towards your freedom uh, from others. Yes, you might be energetically connected to this person, and you might be even married to this person or connected to them physically. Doesn't matter. Um... I feel like there's been a lot of you resolving codependency and, you know, not needing this person, but being with this person because you want to and things like that. Um, there's a lot of learning in there that's coming up for you that you did, that you're still going through, you know. Uh, let's see this five of wands here in the recent past. The Strength card, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Yeah, there was a lot of disagreement in terms of how do we do this? It could have been a connection. It could have been with your friends, family, whatever. Something that was um, involving you and somebody else working together towards something, towards a goal here. And with the Five of Swords being here, it's telling me that somebody tried to kind of have it their way. Could have been you, could have been them. But whatever the case, it created a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements here. Not seeing eye to eye, you know. And I feel like you decided to just pull yourself out of this energy because it was kind of going and going and going in the same kind of rhythm. And it wasn't bringing any kind of new results. And you're like, okay, I, the only way I can resolve this is to pull myself out of this so that the energy can change here. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. 
not the easiest thing to do definitely to change this energy and to pull yourself out the ten of wands the hangman and the two of swords you decided to just stand still which is telling me you didn't participate in this conflict anymore um it wasn't that you didn't care you just wanted that energy to be changed to be shifted and with the seven of swords that doesn't tell me that you just walked away and be like screw this i'm out i don't want to ever see you again talk to you again and all of that it may have felt like that but it wasn't that what happened here is that you started to stand still in front of this conflict kind of like a, a tornado coming in and then it hits a wall you know you're the wall what's it gonna do it's gonna go around somehow right it's gonna try to and then out it wasn't the easiest thing to do i feel like you were kind of forcing yourself to do it maybe kind of like okay how do i do this because i don't know how to do this i don't know how to stand still in front of an energy you know but you eventually did it and i feel like through the not knowing is how you actually did it <laughs> you know Let me clarify um, the Three of Wands here in the current situation. The Three of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Hermit. Waiting and waiting and waiting for something or someone was actually bringing in pain. The more you waited, the more pain, pain it brought it to you, you know? And I feel like there's been a lot of inner thinking through this pain. It was actually making you feel good. That this happened because you got to work a lot with yourself here there you are going within and feeling very victorious about what it is that you saw in there in that pain you know it brought you a lot of lessons a lot of healing um <clears throat> let's uh clarify this page of wands in your current situation oh this is them the star, the three of cups, and the chariot, they want to come towards you fast. They want to come back to you here. At least this is the energy they're coming in with. Now, there's a difference between them wanting to and actually doing it. I hope you'll know that when you comment. They're not doing it. Yeah. I just said it. There's a difference between wanting it and doing it um let's clarify the death card the knight of cups the page of wands and the four of pentacles you're not letting go of this person what you're letting go of is you being out there in their face all the time you know kind of like i need to remind them that i exist i need to remind them that i love them i need why do you need that you know, but you're letting go of this energy where you're in their face all the time with, I love you. Just so you know, I love you. I think they know that, you know, um, you're done with proving that to them or showing them that. Let me clarify the three of cups. The nine of wands, the two of cups and the four of swords. I feel like the two of you will eventually come back together here and make it work. However, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be the easiest thing to do. There's a lot of healing involved. There's a lot of working together involved. And since we all have free will, maybe you are willing to do it. Maybe they're not. So if, you, if there's no cooperation here and let's work on this together, it's not enough that you are wanting this. Or that they are wanting this. Let's clarify the King of Swords here, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Tower. Remember that wall? <laughs> Remember it? When an energy comes in, and this time the energy that comes in, it's not going to be like a tornado. Um, but it's going to be determined. It's going to be... I really want to do this with you. And I feel like this is your person coming your way. Um, it's going to create a tower moment. Either you're going to look at it and be like, what the hell happened? Because um, we came out of a very conflicting kind of energy. And now you're showing up as really wanting this. 
you know so I, either it's a surprise a shock for you um or you may initially be like no i don't believe you go away you know um kind of depends but you know what since you jumped up i'm gonna take you out um let's see the empress here The lovers in reverse, the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. You either get to that point where you're like, um, not wanting this anymore. There could be that possibility. Or, you're very, very comfy, very good where you're at and you feel like this person coming in might interfere with your Empress energy where you're feeling so good by yourself. You know, that in itself is a trick also. It kind of taps into a fear also. I got comfortable with being by myself. Okay, I understand. And I'm not saying go and want this person. You can want whoever, whatever. But when this comes into play where you get comfortable, you're not going to look at anybody, right? Because you're good by yourself. And I, I kind of go towards, is there a fear there in itself being just me? Because somebody's going to interfere with this energy that I created. I don't know. Or do you want to share this energy with somebody? May not be this person, but it kind of goes into a very subtle place of maybe there is a fear there of I'm comfortable, you know, by myself here. I don't want to be disturbed in this energy because it feels so good. Um, let's see what the universe has for you. The Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Hangman. Yeah, you still feel this connection. It's still very strong for you. It's still the 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 feelings, the emotion, the what it is, the soul, strong soul connection is here. It's still here. You not doing anything about it, that's a different story. Uh, I feel like you're not really acting on this. As I said, I kind of see you in this, I'm good where I'm at. And yeah, do enjoy this time where you're at. But then do question it, like, okay, so am I not going to let anybody in because I'm comfortable now? You know? Uh, that leads to a whole different kind of maze for you to look at, but that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.